Russia, and we have new developments tonight in the NSA leak investigation. The director of the agency testified before a House Intelligence Committee. He revealed, or he claimed, secret data collection helped prevent dozens of terrorist attacks since 9-11. Chris Van Cleve is live in the Satellite Center with the story. Chris. Well, Gordon, in the wake of the Edward Snowden leak scandal, the director of the NSA detailed previously classified information about the agency's efforts to disrupt terror attacks. Testifying before Congress, the head of the NSA, General Keith Alexander, argues the leaked surveillance efforts played a huge role in saving lives and stopping terrorists. In recent years, the information gathered from these programs provided the U.S. government with critical leads to help prevent over 50 potential terrorist events in more than 20 countries around the world. Among the foiled potential terror attacks, a 2009 backpack bombing plot targeting the New York subways and a plan to bomb the New York Stock Exchange. We were able to disrupt the plot. We were able to lure some individuals to the United States and we were able to affect their arrest. But the NSA chief says the agency's efforts will suffer because of the leak of classified documents by former contractor Edward Snowden. I think it was irreversible and significant damage to this nation. Has this helped America's enemies? I believe it has, and I believe it will hurt us and our allies. The general defended the NSA's surveillance as legal, a position backed up by President Obama in this interview with PBS. If you are a U.S. person, the NSA cannot listen to your telephone calls, and the NSA cannot target your emails. The leaks were condemned by both Republicans and Democrats on the House Intelligence Committee. The GOP committee chair seemingly supporting the president's position you just heard saying, if we are going to protect Americans, our national security apparatus still needs to keep secrets about how we do things. Live in the Satellite Center tonight, Chris Van Cleve, ABC 7 News. All right.